Comrades, the end of the war is near. We're going to Berlin. And we're going balls first. Why Begin do, final attack. Why the motherland? Why the motherland? Just because Hitler took the fatherland or what? Well, that we just said before him, actually. Mother Russia is, uh, is an old saying. Old well, saying, wasn't it like with like Peter the Great? Uh, possibly. Somebody coined it, that's for sure. Karl Franz? Ka Karl, Karl Franz? No, that's Franz. Karl Franz sounds like a burger franchise. <laughs> There is a Russia-like state in Fantasy Warhammer. Kislev, I believe it's called. Yeah. And they have war bears. War bears? They have war bears. Not Jew bears, but war bears. War bears. The Russians have war bears? Uh, no, the Kislevites did. Cossacks. Those mm. are their war bears. Yeah. <clears throat> They're hairy men. They count as bears. Romans had war dogs. They did. Oh, look. You take a shortcut, I guess. So, and I'm pretty sure safe. Americans that is. had a... War rats. War rats? Yeah, his name was Benedict Arnold. <laughs> I think they actually employed rats for some, I can't remember, some military service. It had to do with the... Uh, Tunnel oh, rats for Vietnam, sir. Oh, no, actually, no, no, actual rats. Actual, no, say, like so the enemies, or uh, an actual supply. vernum, I should say. That, vernum. Uh, that uh, vernum thing is for explosives or something, I don't know. No, that's, that's monkeys. Was it the was the, uh, yes, it is the monkeys. I was wrong. Yeah. I know there was a suppose it's uh, what was it CIA or FBI study they were, not study but thing they were doing with dolphins. <laughs> the oh. CIA spent sixty five million dollars. No, they were studying to kill monkeys. people. Okay. Yeah, that's lawnmower man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, no, but they uh, would put like these bullets on the end of the beaks and his dolphins ram. Start shooting them. When it rams, the bullet hits in a certain way and it launches out and kills In a people. certain way that weirdly sets it off. I don't know how to explain it. The science is really complicated, but uh, it just it goes boom and yes. something out there dies. See, Hopefully the the person that it hits, yeah. it dies. Well, uh, what about the charger tank? Let's see how well that goes. Russians had it easy. No wonder they took Berlin first. <laughs> Oh yeah, just just the easiest yeah. time. Poke at the back. <laughs> <laughs> see, war. see, what the Americans did was that they were like, hey, we're going to take all the fancy art, like in uh, Monument Men, and uh, you get the Berlin. Money. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. Just don't worry about the turret. Just don't, don't get panicked. The tank won't move forward, I promise. We... Just I, like this Berlin anecdote tank. comes up with some time, some frequency, but uh, the Russians had unsuccessfully attempted to use dogs as anti-tank they kept running back. Well, they used Russian tanks to train them, so the dogs charged Russian tanks. Yeah. That did not work well. Uh, Luckily, T-34s are cheap. So, uh, did you ever hear about the first time that uh, gas was used in World War One? No. So the Germans went to use it and uh, started blowing. Oh, yeah, the winds, the winds. Yeah, the winds changed about halfway into it, so all of it came back on, and they're like, oh, shit. No. Oh. Because they had to use fog machines instead of missiles, or, yeah, like, uh, they had a turrets, uh, so they stopped. They, later on in the war, they used those, but in the beginning, it was all this machine. There we are. And it would uh, send gas out. Big gun! Almost like a flamethrower. Almost. But it was just... Well, because the winds changed, it all came back on him. It was like... Mm. Why are you still here? A tank blew a hole in the wall. Leave. Universal sign for get out of this building. They're German. They don't understand that. A universal sign for get out of this building. Once again. Heavy universal. shelling. They don't understand. Heavy shelling. They're Germans. They don't get it. So uh, that's our objective right there. The Reichstag? Reichstag. It looks smaller. Dem dem Deutschen Wolke. Are you gonna are you gonna blow up the Nazi symbol like they do in the game? Or mm. actual life? I should say the game. The game life. Yeah, the game. The, the game, game of, of life. life. That's part of the thing that you can do in it. Blow up the Nazi symbol? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I never landed on that square. You don't often get it. It's only one card that you overthrow the Reichstag. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh. Is there a counter proposal of legislate Mein Kampf as a, as a constitutional document? No, but you get to, uh, the other one is uh, actually succeed in the uh, Weimar Republic. Hmm, gotcha. Uh, Ambitious uh, goals, but sometimes you roll enough sixes and it happens. Yeah. The yeah. tanks got through. Do you know what the Weimar Republic is there, Coin? No. It's the, uh, after uh, World War One. it's the uh, government that took over for Germany. And that makes my life really fulfilled right now. Yep. I don't know how I would have continued on tonight. Just fun facts of the day, sir. Fun facts of the... Uh, so the placeholder history. government would have endured, you're saying? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, you get to delete it in life. And I'm assuming Hitler well. just got rid of it in the 30s? Yeah, he, uh, the guy, uh, they put him as cha uh, chancellor. 
<clears throat> and uh, the co-chancellor, actually. Co-chancellor? Co-chancellor. Was He's the co-captain of this team. And then the gentleman that was co uh, that was with the chancellor, also with the chancellor at the time, I can't remember his name, he was a famous uh, uh, World War One general for Germany. He died, and Hitler just pretty much took all the power. He was like, no, it's fine now. Fuck off. In World at War, this World section War One. is a real oh. pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. You heard about this. So, is World, World at War just pretty much a remake of this? Yeah. Yes, it is. Huh. There, there are half the levels are in Saipan, and overall in the Pacific Islands, and half of it is here in you, in the Russian campaign. Yeah, you play a Russian sniper or something like that, don't you? Not quite. Uh -huh. But I mean, you play Vasily Zaitsev, yes, the Soviet hero. But this fight up these stairs is a pain in everyone's oh, ass because the uh, yeah, see, jumps. Um, you just have to keep keep on pushing piece by piece, taking out the artillery, and uh -huh. the enemies keep respawning. So you just have to hang out until one NPC catches up can topple a pillar hmm. and then you can come through it is not fun and hey with any luck we'll get to show you at some point I think I remember that from a game mm -hmm. oh it'll, it'll be uh, it'll be an experience but at least you get to see Call of Duty at running pretty much its best the only way to do it better is 4k right now we can't do 4k and that's all right maybe someday walking gun walking gun what do you mean this yeah, walking? instead of running gun, the, be walking the, the, gun this is my walking gun yes walking <laughs> So you ow! Walking, gunning people down. The gun, you yeah. shot me in the face. Oh, ow! Ooh, that hoits. I don't see you doing any better, Chucks. What? Walking? Yes. Oh, I can't. I don't have the voice. Or the talent. That's funny. You should say that because it's hard to do the walking. We do have one co-worker, a filmmaker. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's pretty good at it. He's not good at a lot of other things, but he can do a mean walking. And of all actors to do, Christopher Walken, nobody else. You know he's really prolific with stage plays? Like yeah. Really, really, really prolific. Hard working dude. Or he's also used to know how to tap dance. Used to. That doesn't go away. Yeah, true. It doesn't go away. You may stop doing it, but you always know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but Katyn, what are you doing? Get down! Put him out of his misery. Filipchenko there is uh, still in the way. He just, oh, I thought he was pointing his gun at you. He might have been. I think it would have been justified. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, charge. Charge the man who pulled out the PPSH. Best idea. Now, the closer you get, the higher the chances I'll actually hit you. I think they broke up the sequence, again, in World of War. We're in the two levels. And you're just charging across the atrium, and it's all big and bombastic. You don't need to. You really don't need to do that. But they did. Because they thought, oh, this is so impressive. But it just adds space and confusion. Yeah, I think uh, World at War, there was a lot more people in the room. Yeah, and it was raining, and it was all yeah. gray and blue. Like, this, to me, as a Russian man, is an inspiring moment, because this is it, guys. We Watch took it. Shot. We took the seat of power. <laughs> well, World at War, like, he does get shot, and you get shot, and you get to come up there and plant the flag yeah. yourself, you big dumb hero, you. <laughs> you single-handedly taking Germany's... Yep, one all you. <laughs> all you. I guess the cutscene doesn't play, but it's just some photos of uh, of wartime material. The people who survived. The survived wars, you might even say. And uh, then you get a congratulatory video that gives you some well summaries of what you've done in the game. So, honest impressions, fellas. Call of Duty. Colin, you've seen some of it. Chucks, you saw all with me. Yep. Like the Death Cows. 13 years later. It's, yeah, it's really been 13 years. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's been that long, does it? What do you think about the game? It's not a bad game. It's aged pretty well. Now that you got it like running at a proper resolution and fairly fairly responsive, I mean, some of the levels do show their age. Yes, of course. But as far as the action, the uh, the variety of environments, the tightness of the game of the gunplay, actually, it's, it's not bad. Not after this entry, they completely did away with all the the, uh, the health packs. It's all about regenerating health. Uh, number two, especially, did this. I'm still willing to try. Uh, Allied Operations, the expansion pack, because it does do a lot of tweaking to the formula before it goes uh, using normal mapping for shiny surfaces and you know wetness, because Activision wants to show you its wetness. Keep saying the word wetness. I do keep saying the word wetness. Very you would wet. emphasize the word wetness. It does have some emphasis, doesn't it? Yeah, wetness. Wetness. Just like the end of uh, World at War, on top of the Reichstag, where everything is raining down. <laughs> 
Now these are the first three levels, just right now. This is the summary, the cliff's notes of the experience. The four hour campaign, more like six, uh, boiled down to a cutscene. Company 2, 502nd, 101st Airborne in Southern California? Wow. That's a uh, uh, band of brothers. <laughs> Yeah. Gotta take your inspiration where you can. Get yep. your actors together. Yeah, the same story we told many, many times. Yep. Through American Eyes. And one talented Jewish director. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. It's usually the winners who write the history books. Of course. Would you want to see the loser, loser's perspective? No, of course not. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what Herodotus did. Herodotus? Herodotus. Was it hereditary? Yes. What did he write? He wrote uh, the history. The history. The That's history. what it's called, the history. Uh, he wrote uh, about the Persian Wars at Marathon Thermopylae, but he went to Persia, Egypt, uh, he went all over Greece, he got everybody's side of the story. <laughs> the winner's side. I should shoot story. them. No, I should use a grenade. No, I should stab them. No, I'm going to brush, brush my balls in the back of their head. Justin, how do you say that name? Skomoskovy? Thank you. Okay, Skomarovsky. Thank you. The Age of War intro music. Music. Global Whoever Warrior. put this together was having fun, I think. Oh, yeah. What do you think the difference is between this and Brotherhood in Arms? Brothers in Arms? Brothers in Arms. Is uh, <laughs> from a perspective and feel. Brothers in Arms is supposed to be a squad-based shooter. She's supposed to care about your dudes. Here, you don't care about your dudes. Nope. There's just other dudes here with you. Um, I think you're less of an action man in Brothers. I think I have a couple of those games. We can look at those later on. Oh, he's just getting pinned by bullets. Yeah, you just have one for the 360. <laughs> Minded me of this, but... Yeah, well, I think they came out at similar times with similar aesthetics, but this is a departure from Medal of Honor where it, you weren't just the only one doing the action, even though sometimes you are. It was supposed to feel a lot more cinematic, like you say, without bullshit black bars top and bottom of the screen. Okay. Did you just hijack a tank? No, not at all. He's going to take a deuce in it. He will, in the form of a grenade. Dunk the shit out of that. What's the point of shooting when you're about to throw a grenade? Suppression. Yeah, and they can't move, so the grenade just lands. And the grenade, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, wouldn't blow the tank up that bad from the inside. The grenade? No. Yeah. The munitions going off? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Rippled and ripped. I mean, this is good. This is like, here's a side-scroller representation of your heroic actions. They uh, they need to do a, remake this game in this way. Kind of like Assassin's Creed Chronicles. You know, they did that with uh, Blackgate, with Batman. Didn't work. Yeah, they did a cartoon, like, cartoony, though. All right, folks, if you'd like to, uh, please let us know if you'd like to see Skip to Call of Duty 2, or if you'd like to see the Expansion Pack to 1, which has fewer levels, but they are quite a bit longer, so you have a better idea of, um, of campaign flow as opposed to variety show. And uh, with any luck, you enjoyed this, and you'll be looking forward to seeing other forgotten linear shooter campaigns. Or if you hate it, let us know. We'll change it up. With Brow Beat. I'm not Chucks. Coin Beater. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.